I've done a few things for His Royal Highness, for the Prince's Trust, because it's something that's kind of close to my heart, because I grew up in a really disadvantaged area in the East Midlands. And I was thinking today, when on my way here, how different life is now to then, when I was growing up. Because life is now far more complicated, far more dangerous, far more temptations, and far more pitfalls than our, we ever had. And also, we had more of a community when we were growing up, so there was always like people to kind of... Things have got very dysfunctional nowadays, and I think it's amazing. I mean, I was reading these CVs of some of these kids today. I mean, it's incredible what they've achieved. I mean, it, you know, when you think at your lowest ebb, when you're a teenager or whatever, and you, you, you failed at everything and you feel like society's just tossed you aside, to actually go, sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to beat this. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Talk to me about Prince Charles. Do you ever get nervous to see him? Do you ever know what to say no, to him? No, I've met Sir quite a few times. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, I did that, uh, what we call a gig at Buckingham Palace. It was two or three years ago now. <laughs> and uh, yes, you got I, some stories. I ended up having a, a cigarette on one of the balconies, but oh, we, won't wow. go, we won't go into well, that. Well, talking of partying, have you seen the pictures of Prince Will today, having, letting his hair down, or not so much hair? Well, why yes. not? <laughs> you know, why not? because there's someone holding the flag up today. So, yeah, he's got some know. dad dancing going on, I yeah, Exactly. <laughs> I don't knock it. If you've got it, have a, have a ball. Hi. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey. Hey. His name's got a, a, a great voice. Hi. I'll just leave it at that. I haven't wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lips to oh. your teeth.